This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, we got Rick Ross showing off a $20 million watch. Ain't no way he can afford this watch. I'm sorry. I don't care. I don't care how much money you think Rick Ross makes to, to pay $20 million for a watch. He's got to be on this. <laughs> the money doesn't have to matter. It's not a hustle anymore. I'm sorry, bro. You ain't buying a watch that's more expensive than your whole property. It's just not possible. Some things are impossible, guys. All right? You can call me a hater all you want. You can just see how... You know, you can just see. $20 million for a watch? <laughs> That's billionaire money, and we know Mayweather. He's got, he's he's accumulated a lot of money, so he could probably buy that watch. He has a watch kind of like it. <clears throat> it would be that dumb to it's dumb to spend money on a a watch like that, anyways. From Jacob, who knows who would buy it? You know, from you later, you might be stuck holding it like Michael Jordan's mansion in Chicago. Jermaine Dupri. And Drake team up for a Magic City uh, documentary. This is almost disrespectful. So they're claiming that Busta Rhymes is the fastest rapper alive. When we all know it's Twista. He's in the Guinness Book of World Records for it. It's a commercial with Little Yachty and Busta. And he Googles fastest rapper alive. It's Twista. This is almost insulting to, to have. Why would why would they make a commercial like this? Um, you got DJ EFN and Tony Ayo and, you know, they're claiming best rappers and who's the best storyteller. We all know the best storytellers like Rick, right? But versus Biggie versus Ice Cube, I would say Biggie was a pretty good storyteller. Ice Cube was great too. I wouldn't say one's better than the other, but it was funny when DJ EFN was like, well, I was born in LA, but raised in Miami. So you have a, a loyalty to LA cause you were born there. What you remember? Walking the block at four years old? Come on, bro. Stop. I don't care where you were born. It matters where you're raised. It hurts, but but people always try to find some connection to somewhere. Like, I was born here, but it depends on where you were raised. Uh, so Young Miami says, do you like to get effed in the butt to you, Ari? And Ari says, it hurts, but I'm going to try again because I heard it's the best thing in the world. Yeah, because Moneybag Yo likes... He doesn't want to admit that he likes it there. It's his favorite place on earth in a butt. <laughs> oh, man. G Herbo gets... This doesn't make sense. G Herbo getting arrested for a gun in Chicago. He would have violated his uh, bond for federal probation, right? He's on probation for that... He's on some type of bond, federal bond or something. Come on, man. What's really going on? Like, people got to, like, really question these things. You would be arrested by the feds, too, at this point. SG starts a record label. I don't know about that. It's dangerous signing to rappers. Not all of them are going to really, you know, go to bat for you. Uh, we'll see where it happens. I mean, I know he wants to put his guys on. Uh, so maybe he'll get a, a deal through a bigger label and he can kind of funnel him through his channel, his imprint. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.